Hey, what up guys, it is Dippletree again, and welcome to the return of Hearts of Iron 3. Yes, we are not going to be witnessing any more Hitler's train, though. And if you do not know what that is, that is uh, just a thing that popped up all the time. There we go, this is better. I can hear myself now, sorry if I was screaming. Um, I, I used to play a, a mod called Black Ice, not Black Guys, that some people think I say sometimes. I don't know what kind of mod that would make or turn Hearts of Iron 3 into, or why they would name it like that in the first place, but it's Black Ice. Um, I think that is actually a word for something in real life too. It's just not a fancy sort of mixture of words. Uh, but anyway, uh, I played Germany with the mod, and I played, uh, I think I played Japan with the mod. I think they were um, coherent as well, they came after another. And after the German one, I played Australia without the mod, which was kind of interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, we took New Zealand in that one, so that was very interesting. I'd say that's a bit of an achievement. In the Black Ice one, the one I played last with Germany, um, things kept popping up. Hitler's train, Hitler's train, and it just wouldn't go away, and it pissed me the fuck off. It, oh my god, I can't describe how pissed I was by the end of that. Um, but as you can tell, we're going to play as America, I've promised that. Um, I was in, also going to play as uh, Texas in um, Vicky 2. But I played Serbia because apparently, well, the votes won, although I'm pretty sure that Texas had more overall votes, but it fell on Serbia. Um, actually, fun fact, uh, Texas is the... I have the most viewers from anywhere in the world comes from Texas. Uh, or subscribers or viewers, I'm not sure how it goes. I mean, UK obviously would beat uh, Texas, but America as a whole would is, is the most viewed country. Or the most viewers I have, whatever. I can't even fucking speak your nature natural language you know what's going on right now um i'm gonna try and uh try and do some cool stuff here with america and we're not playing with a mod on because i funnier things happened without it like germany can win france doesn't go to war with germany like it's not as scripted and i don't know why this still fucking shit is up there and uh yeah we're gonna do like this because that's how i roll and uh yeah we're gonna get back into some hearts of iron i know a lot of people have been asking for this so in our German campaign, we did pretty good, I guess. We lost the war, so, I mean, we, apparently we didn't do that good. But that's because we were playing with Black Ice mod, and with Black Ice... Oh my god, it's so scripted that you can't even win the war as Germany. I mean, the Russians are just overpowered. I mean, it's... Everything, like, turns out the way it should be, which is kind of boring. I play games to change history, not to relive it, depending on who I want to play, of course. Uh, and as always, uh, you guys, I'm going to redo everything. I don't like anything. I don't even know why these things aren't with the Pacific Theater. Why does this guy not have a Craig? And we'll put, we don't have really that many skilled generals. Uh, the reason why I put a good general on the Pacific one is because obviously, as you know, that's where shit is going to go down first. We've got Richardson here, Field Marshal Richardson, Conklin, and Craig. Uh, Craig has only really got uh, garrison divisions under his command. Asiatic fleet, though, pretty good. Gonna be staying frosty. Uh, Kona's west. Uh, lots of, uh, lots of, lots of, lots of battlefield fleets. It's got a carrier with two air wings. Another one that's good. Cruiser fleet, six cruisers, five cruisers, four capital ships, and cruisers, four, 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 six destroyers. I think I'd merge. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't know where they all are stationed, but. Uh, they're all here. Good. Pacific Transport Fleet. Uh, why don't you move over there? Battleship Fleets. Uh, go to San Francisco. Submarine fleet can head there as well. I'm generally not a big fan of, of Navy management, so that's, well, that's why I let others handle it. And they're heading there as well. Fuck, just missed it. Uh, there's another battleship fleet that I wanted to get a hold of. 
Yeah, these guys. Okay, and then we're going to do some re uh, management there. Holy crap, it's a lot. Um, we'll see you guys in Washington. Anyone that can come, of course. These guys, Garrison, uh, not so lucky. Will not be dining at the whatever fancy hotel there is in there. Um, but they at least they have a Cologne. I don't even know if there's a fancy hotel in Cologne. There ought to be. And all these guys are heading here. Very small amount of troops. Uh, not really a lot at all. Um, tactical bomber. So, I think I'm gonna want to be common turn. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. Uh, why not Axis? Yeah, let's align to the to the Axis. Although we are almost already up here, we're bloody so damn close. Um, I don't know why do I always go Axis? It's because they didn't win, isn't it? Lady. And for this to be able to be an interesting one, uh, I'm going to have to use only one cheat, and it's more like a bypass thing. It's not really a cheat. It doesn't make me more powerful or less powerful or anything like that. It, it removes the neutrality factor that there is in this game for some reason. Um, Victoria 2 doesn't really have it, along with many other um, um, Paradox games. Um, but this one does, and it doesn't... Well, now without it, I can go to war against Canada and be like, yo, <laughs> or Mexico for that part, which would be fun. Uh, but yeah, as I said, Germany generally always loses. And uh, as I said, I'm about to change history, not relive it. And besides, Russia is so fucking powerful that it's it's, it's not even fun to begin with. Uh, <laughs> and uh, not a lot of reinforcements going to be needed. We are producing a few things, though. We're going to have to balance that out a bit. Going to put that on there. Uh, two more carriers... See if we can join the the, the axis before um, before we get freaking thrown into the war against the Japanese, which is gonna be annoying. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of island hopping. It isn't fun at all going around capturing these uh, islands. Oh, man, some bloody battles around here. And I mean, this is Guam, Saipan, Palau. Isn't that where the airfield was? No, that's. Um, Palau, isn't it there? Or Pelilulu or something? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm completely thinking of the wrong thing. There was some fighting down here as well, I think, wasn't it? Or out here? The islands don't really have a collection of name. Only the provinces make up different words or names for the entire thing. So it's kind of hard to tell what it is. I'm not really that good with Pacific. Uh, geography. Other than that, I don't think we have much else to do. Uh, the star technology, of course. I always put that on AI. They know what they know what they need. Uh, AI research, and then I'll throw the espionage at like 1.10. Diplomacy is good to have there at 2.2, since or just two, since we're kind of doing some stuff. Officers, we have more than we need, but we're gonna need a hell lot more because we're gonna do a lot of recruitment. So we're gonna put that at 3.33, and we're gonna have a lot of research points, which I love. Race national unity is going to be the main factor. It's a little low at the moment. Um, it's always good uh, if we have some spies over. I'm not sure if we will. We'll see. We can do some of that other stuff as well. Ice is being wasted. Yes, but we'll see when we unpost it what we will need, won't we? And so we're unpost and we are go. Trade offer, jump pan. Uh, oh, I forgot one thing. Um... AI knows best if you let them automatically trade for you, uh, because then they know they will they will just do the good trades, not the bad, just if, not everything. I mean, so we'll get what we need. We're a very self-sufficient country, though, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's gonna take a lot of time to produce these things. Uh, we don't need another submarine. Uh, no more destroyers. That's good, though. Uh, we don't need a USS Quincy. We just need two more carriers and these. That'll be perfect. Uh, and then I'd rather spend some money and time on more IC. We'll do a serial thing here for about two years. We can do... We can do three years. 
Just to increase it a bit. We can afford it. And we can put that up there. And we can let the upgrades lack a little. Because it's going to go down heavily quite soon. Um, and here we have these things. Now I'm going to remanage them. Um, you're getting a destroyer. You're getting a destroyer. You're being merged. So there's a little more powerful to the cruiser fleet. Or a little more power there to the to the cruiser fleets, destroyers, and some of these things are pretty good. Um Right. Everyone's meeting up. And um I don't know guys. Do you want me to take like all of South America? I think that would be kinda cool. Uh definitely if I attack Canada, which are part of the Allies. Oh, well, not really, but their independence is guaranteed by my me, then. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> what will I be doing to my poor friends? I don't see why these are army corps. Well, they're... Well, they are sort of army corps. They're corps. They're not army groups. Uh, okay, so... Apparently, these fuckers want us to drift to them. Generally, if you attack a lot of countries in this game, uh, you automatically sort of become Axis? Like... If I'm playing Poland and I attack poor Czechoslovakia and take them, the Axis is like, oh, you are evil, you are good. I don't know why I sound like I'm Russian. But we will want you have to into into faction, yeah? And to change the accent very quickly. It's very stereotypical. Sorry, excuse me, don't hit me. Uh, I don't even know what that turned into. And, um, but yeah. So that's it. That's it on the ball. Oh, come on, UK. Peace off, mate. Peace off. I'm kidding, guys. But America will be a free and independent, loving country. Um, we will not, not, no. I will not, UK. I will not. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be hilarious. Auto save in there. So, other than that, um, pretty much making use of, uh, of everything here. This is good. This is good. This is going to be good to have these carries out. Uh, fleet has been slightly reorganized. Um, there's a fighter wing here, and, wait a second, and there's a bomber. I think I'm gonna send this one up to the bombardment wing and combine them, and they can carry out operations together. No, UK, I will not. When will you learn? Pacific Transport Fleet will be the, um, uh, gotta make sure he's a vice admiral there. Um, send the bloody blah, 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 fighter wing to the Pacific Theater. I think they're going to be used more there. Defend some islands for whatever it's worth. Poor Wake Island Division. Uh, if it does increase their chances of survival, then I... Wait. Hmm. For some reason, I cannot. Maybe it's... Yeah, uh, look at that. It's a spec. Uh, thing is, I'm gonna disband this unit. Uh, I've got actually an idea for, for um, something that could really, really, really help out when they, if, if the Japanese decide to invade us. But then again, that won't be happening, will it? Uh, no, we could seriously need more manpower for other things than these stupid divisions that aren't just... They would just witter away. So, excuse me. But your manpower that is being added to the pool, because you're being sent home, you will be formed and retrained to strong fighting divisions. Da -da 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 -da. Plays Battlefield 1942, Road to Rome, uh, trailing music in the background. Your fighting, your fighting strength will be put to power. With a, with a, with a, with a and I might even just... Might even just do something about this. Uh, not sure we can't even have any flight commanders. Um, look at that guy. Holy fuck. He's got a ha really cool hat on. So, we'll leave it at this. And I think I will go ahead. Go ahead. Isn't that what they say in... Uh, what game now? Now again. Go ahead. Since the Solar Empire. Yeah. You send Columbia Fleet. You send Columbia Fleet. Where are you at? You're up there. I'm gonna send the submarine to you. And we're gonna have a we're gonna have a little more. I like a little more strength with my fleets, if you know what I mean. Not so much wussy talk, you know. 
I want better shit. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Taking your sweet ass time. I didn't even see the green bar. Get the hell out of here, UK. I'm running my own race. You can't stop me, Dad. You can't stop me. Okay, upgrades are being downed a bit. That's good. So we can put up the leash on production. And seeing rangers lead the way. They're going to be cool to have. Paratroopers for that part as well. Uh, light armor. The sooner we start producing armor, the better. Armor and artillery together. And some infantry. And AT. I mean, that's a sick-ass combo right there. But I'd rather just go with something more mobile for the attack troops. So this is going to be like a... Yeah. Maybe just like that. 6,000. Huh. Numbers ain't always that important, but they do add to a lot of strength. Then again, reserves. Yeah, I think we'll make a reserve. It's a reserve division there. Yeah, this is going to be reserve core. They're all... They're, they're five of them, but... Yeah. It's going to be pretty good, I guess. I mean, I don't see a point in not doing it. Um... Who was I doing now? Yeah, Columbia Fleet. <laughs> Who was I doing? Um... That's great. Um, see if everyone's been gathering now. We're down to do some restructuring business. Production license from Norway. Uh, if it's money, you know, Norway, you're not going to be able to do anything with that. Mexico. Uh, no, I'm going to decline you because I'm going to invade you and take you. So That's just, just, just America. Mexico's got oil, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm so hilarious, ain't I? Sorry, I'm probably just making you guys sound stupid. Italy enforced puppet on Romania. Or, sorry, uh, Ethiopia happens. They do that all the time. But uh, it's a it's a, it's a a bad... I mean, and, and every save is different. Every game is different. Sometimes the Germans don't even declare war on the Russians. And, like, it's, it's just... Mm, it's scripted to do it. But a little mishappening on the, there in Europe. And, like, like, a little just thing going wrong. And just... Oof. Me attacking Canada, and oof, the World War II might not even happen. And everyone's here. Time to dine and pine and dine and dine. Dine and shine in Washington. Okay. Uh, I think I'll keep the Panama Canal Force here in case of issues. But seriously, Puerto Rico Division, your manpower will be... I'm not going to roll the battlefield music again. So, Mr. Conus. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds... Hmm stupid. I don't know. Sorry. Excuse me, but it sounds stupid. It, it does. U.S. Army Air Force. Uh, you call it just Air Force. How very um, egoistic of you. We'll fly you there as well. Fuck, we're not going to need that down there. If they attack us from South America, this time they're going to come at us with sticks. We will be fine. 12 there and 12 on the other side. I guess that's not Atlantic. Some um, use as a ranger task force. Holy crap. A lot of destroyers. One carrier and two air wings. Good, good, good. Cruiser fleet. Another battleship fleet. This one's good. This one's got three on it. Caribbean fleet. Filipino force. Uh... More better than what I'm used to seeing, but kind of shit still. So. And now begins the disband disbanding. The disbandment. Don't worry. We're only doing a little cleanup. Okay. HQ, why don't you step aside for a moment? Annapolis has gotten a lovely pie. Okay, 29th, go to Winchester. Uh, 28th, go to Frederick. And 44th, go to Alexandria. 1, 2. 2, 2. 2, 2. 1, 2. 2, 2. 2, 2. 2, 2. We'll see what we'll end up with here. I like full course. Makes them feel... So, the reason why that's a 1-2 is because it's 3. So, we're going to make sure our guys are at full strength there. So, we're going to send those guys up there for a little bonding. 
And we're going to see if we can find some more 1-2s here. 1-1 one, one even. Sorry, excuse me, was that cavalry? Need the manpower more than I need the horses. Uh, uh, well, I can't just spend the big red one, can I? <laughs> uh, well, I kind of can, but that'd be not cool. Is that Patton? We got five. We got five, and we got five. So you and you. Uh, brigade attachment, we're gonna need two more infantry. Not as reserves, just two more infantry. And other than that, uh, escorts are gonna be needed. Uh, as weird as that sounds. Uh, along with convoys, because, uh, well, sea warfare and all that shit. You, yeah. you need to be prepared for that. Bam. Bum. 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 First army. And that is the Conus East. Looking good, gentlemen. Looking good. Eh. Okay. You guys. Use Army Air Force. Why don't you just call yourself that? Not much of an Air Force, but... It's what it is. So, I want my first army, and then I mean everyone here who can actually fight, to head to Norfolk, where we have a harbor that can that can hold you guys up. How does the infrastructure look in this country? Eh, decent. The west is obviously not as up to par, but everything else here is pretty good, I gotta say. Some rocky mountains here, so... Isn't this the rocky mountains? Or is that somewhere else? There's shit ton of mountains. Mountains. Um, so guys, we're gonna come up to the, ep the end of this episode pretty soon. Either we can actually, like, I don't know, invade Ireland. Or we can go for Canada. I'd say we'd, I'd say we'd kill Canada. And no offense, Canadians, but... Yeah, we, we, we got it coming for you. So... Yeah. We got a few places to take here. And once again, it's nothing personal. It's just how should I put it? Yeah, it's it's what we do. So I'm gonna actually control this now, and I'm gonna go with a better uh, better feel for it. Wait a second. Control. Oh, fucking no. Control all of these islands. Actually, well. We're not going to be on fighting here on the Western Front, even. Because, why? You all know that. Because we're going to be invited to the Axis. Axis. Hitler's going to be like, oh, wow. You've done so well. And we're going to be like, thank you, Hitler. 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 I think someone's like breaking into me, to my room here. So, yeah, someone actually is. So, yeah, other than that, I think everything is pretty much set. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And what's this? Army Air Force? I'm on Cruiser Fleet, Battleship Fleet, Panama Canal, Kona's West. I'll deal with you later, but I'm pretty sure your Army course could be of use. To say the least. I think we can even form another division with these. Help, big. Nah. Okay, you s just stay there, you. And where'd the other one go? You. Uh, I'll send you west. And I'm actually going to take these two guys. Head here. You're going to be disbanded. You're going to be disbanded. And we're going to make a new little core out of you guys. You're the future of our nation. And they're heading their way up in here. Why are you going split ways? Anyway, we'll do it like that. And then we'll take... Whatever else division there is. I believe it's that. Fourth core. Fourth core. And we'll put that in the first army. And now we can cover the border. I hope. You guys better be on your way up there. Because we're going to be attacking them. Oh, hell yes. We're going to be attacking. So, now that I think that I've said pretty much everything I need to say... 
Uh, I think we're gonna end it there. End it with a bang. End it with a bang. 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 See you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Look forward to more gameplay. Until then, you guys enjoy. Bye.